What's up my crazy people the internet? This is your boy Awesome G18 aka Giovanni Huerta and I wanna say this is one interesting episode because this is a post recording. Now that is weird, especially since it's a finale episode, but the reason why is because I just didn't want to post the audio of this recording because it sounded like complete utter trash. So this is why this episode is actually being post-recorded. And for those who have not lived the age of post-recording, it's just basically doing a voice over over already recorded footage. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And for the purpose of this video, I just included the most interesting battles that I found interesting. And I compiled it and just doing a voice over of it. So this is the finale. Yes, I did lose, and you're going to see in a few moments towards the end of the episode as to how I lost and how that came to be. So as you're seeing on the screen right now, we're actually going to go ahead and battle the gym leader of Kanto for the 5th gym, and that was the Fuchsia gym badge. And let me just tell you, this gym badge was interesting, none the least. And right now, we're about to go into the trainer that I cannot forget for the for the life of me and I think I will never forget this and good thing I wasn't doing like a complicated shady lock of this game because this was a Dreano hack after all and this was fire omega red and here 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 it is it was this Pokemon right here I get mean looked Mistrivious is here I can't switch out and is using pain split Left and right, and that's annoying. And I have confused Ray. And I'll look at my moves. All I have is dig, break, break, and cut. Now, break, break, and cut don't work on ghost Pokemon. Now, to top it up, or dig is not even effective because it has levitate. And I only have water gun as my only thing to do. So, as you can see right now, I'm just like, oh my god, I gotta switch out because look, I only have a few items to heal. The, the healing portion wasn't the problem. The problem was that I did not have enough PP on Water Gun. So, as you can see, I'm already scared. I think I only have like 10 PP left um, that I remember. Let me see. Let me see, where am I? Okay, I have 7 Water Guns. You're gonna see how much of the BS this is because this, she's plane splitting me. I think, is it a girl? It's a guy. He is pain splitting me. I'm trying to win it down, but I can't do too much. And right here... You just saw it right now. He has levitate as his ability. Just confirm with what I just said a moment ago. So that was just annoying in of itself. That pain split combo with my healing just did not help. So I, I think at some point just said, you know what? Frick it. I'm just going to risk my last PP and go for it. You know, go for the biscuit because I can't do anything. And I was really stuck in here. And also, another. so as we're going through this. This actually like run through of the video. I uh, th the only reason I'm kind of glad that I ended this series, but I I'm also sad about it because I did not have a proper ending. Because if you see my episodes, I went through 19 episodes and I loved it. During the time that I recorded, I enjoyed recording this, and then just just the hype with Sword and Shield and Pokemon Fire Red it outweighed it, and I I, I just just decided to say you know what. I don't want to do the series, but I had to. I had to have a proper ending. Now, I, I'm glad that I actually continued with the series and recording it. I, I I'm glad I did, but I'm also glad that I stupidly made some dumb mistakes, which you will see in a little bit with this gym leader. I'm glad I did these mistakes because if I did not end the series on this session, well, I created two sessions, so technically. Episode 20, what I'm trying to say is episode 20 was composed of episode 20 and 21. And since I ended it, I just might as well just created both of them together. So this is the, the, the outcome of episode 20 and 21. So this is why I call it the finale. <laughs> so I thought it was 20 episodes. But yeah. So actually, before I was finding this Koga, I, there was a scene before it and I just included it because I caught... I got the HM for Surf, and I, I think I was also, I did some grinding, which that consisted of me going 
and finishing it up all the way to Lavender Town to make a full full circle and finish all that route and I did some battles in, in there. So that was a success and I didn't lose any Pokemon on the grinding montage. So that so after I finished that I decided to go back into the gym and this is where we're at. Fighting Fuchsia. I forgot Koga I mean. So I think his first Pokemon if I remember this is a Psyduck. I, I don't know if he had a Pokemon previous to it. I think he did. But yeah. So I think Psyduck was one of the six Pokemon that he has in his arsenal. And yeah, so so going back of why I'm happy that this ended because if I continued on with episode 22 and 23, I just wouldn't enjoy it anymore. I, I'd be just be forced because I'm still living on that hype on Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, I don't have to give an explanation of why I'm happy this series ended, but I'm glad it just did because the hype wouldn't even be the same anymore. And... Actually, at the time of recording, as I was actually looking at episode 19, and I was trying to rec to see what, what happened, what Pokemon were there, and what Pokemon I can use, and what Pokemon I can capture still. But after that confusion, I I, I I was ready. I was ready to record this, but beforehand, I had some troubleshooting with actually recording it because my laptop that I'm recording this gameplay through was just... It couldn't capture the the game the, the computer audio which was this game the gameplay which was just tedious in of itself but in short note I got it fixed and this took a process of two to three hours and I was just exhausted and I don't know if it was exhaustion talking or the fact that I was kind of forced to end this I wanted to record this as fast as possible so that I can end the series but oh well oh well the point is, I will still ha I will. I'm still kind of sad that the series had to end like the way it did right now. That you're gonna see in a few moments, in probably 13 to 12 minutes. Uh, if you guys want to skip it, by all means skip it. But before you do, don't forget to like this video because it really will put me up in the YouTube notifications and people's sub feeds and everything. Subscribe if you guys are enjoying the commentary that I'm doing right now. Hit that notification bell to be to be updated with any Pokemon related contests such as Sword and Shield and I actually at some point I might go ahead and do a Pokemon Fire Omega Red another run through but later on in the future maybe late 2020 or 2021 but I am going to go ahead and redeem myself for this series and as you can see on the screen I stupidly lost Loteji and at this point when I was recording this I was just in my mindset I'm done. I'm done with Fire Red. Lil Teji is the only thing that kept me going with the series. But once I lost him, I was like, frick the series. That's why I took a little bit to ponder my way. So I was just like, screw this. All right. I got one more chance. Little Geo is still there. My soul is still in there. And I, I would be fine with it. So, so. Little Geo is still alive. Thankfully. Now, I think this Charizard is the second to last Pokemon of Koga that I had to defeat. At, or third to last, right? If I'm right, the Aerodactyl. There you go. Here's the Aerodactyl. Here is this B who des destroyed my team. You know why? Because I needed Lota G for an Aerodactyl. I had nothing for this Aerodactyl. I, I absolutely had trash. I had nothing. I just had this Venusaur, and since Aerodactyl is a flying and and uh, rock type, he he would probably use Aerial Laser or any flying type moves. But apparently he didn't even had he didn't even have that. So I was lucky to make it out of this battle alive. If he had a flying type move, this Nuzlocke would have been just game over, because this whole entire battle was me consisting of healing and healing and outstalling, and hopefully I pulled a miracle. You're going to see right now what badly happened. I don't know how long it's going to take though. I don't remember. Let me see. So I'm actually going to, I'm actually watching the video right now and see at what point it's actually going to go and show that I actually lost them. Ugh! Oops. <laughs> Is that a spoiler? Oh crap. Oh well. Whatever. You guys get a sneak peek of what just happened in a little bit. But yeah. Uh, so going back about about the future so definitely gonna do Pokemon Fire Red Omega 
It's not gonna be a chest lock, and actually just learning about chest locks, um, I mean, they're just a little bit complicated, but they are kind of fun to do, but it just sucks because you're only stuck to 16 Pokemon. I feel like this would be good for stream, but as a series in itself, I don't know, I mean, it's kind of odd. I, I really love to catch multiple Pokemon, but if I do ever do do a chest lock, I am definitely going to do a, I think it's called a, it's an extreme version of chest lock where I would randomize the Pokemons and if they're in the private previous evolutions, like for example, if I had a Magikarp and, and it reaches level 20 where it would normally evolve, I would basically go ahead it will basically evolve into something else and not a Gyarados that's what I mean by extreme lock because chest locks are amazing and everything but you can only capture 16 Pokemon which completely sucks it really does guys it just sucks but hey that's a chest lock for you it's supposed to be challenging it's not supposed to be easy but yeah I enjoyed this project honestly I've enjoyed doing it at least the first 19 episodes as I was looking through the series uh, as I was actually reviewing one of the episodes of each I had so much hype for this back in November and I think it was October I had fun I love doing this but once Sword and Shield came out it's just I snapped just like this this Venusaur snapped out of confusion I just snapped I was just like yeah this is a series that I don't want to do anymore but I felt like this series had to have an ending at some point I had to Siri, chill, 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 Siri. All right, she, she my gal, she my British gal. Watch, hey Siri, what's your name? My name, it's Siri. There you go, that's my girl, that's my girl. She's her name is Siri. Definitely hit her up with a uh, hashtag Siri in the comment section below, and she'll actually be happy. Uh, I'll make her more happy, and she's British as a matter of fact. My girl Siri is British. Cute as a matter of fact. Let me put a picture. No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 don't let me put a picture of that because that, that's going to get really confusing real quick. Just like little Geo right here on the screen is getting confused. Uh, yeah, but man, if I had to think about all the Pokemon that I've lost in this series, I'm just sad. I am, it, it just really just shows how bad of a Pokemon trainer I am, but not really. Because I, w I do win more locks than Goku Gamer because I am not like him who loses to the lock multiple times and has to re-record it. And that is how I lose Little G right there. And at that point, in this point, before I go and talk about Goku Gamer, in this very moment, I knew... I give up on this lock. I give up on my lock because I just said, you know what, frick it, go Charlie, do something, just do something, make your life worth something. And I was like, okay, just do it, just do it. All right, get get body right now. Look, he's gonna use quick attack, quick attack. Oh no, wait, never mind. He's gonna use swift and just end my life right there. Damn it! I didn't even use quick attack. So at this point. After I lost Metamec, I mean, uh, after I lost Charlie, Metamec was my last, my last Pokemon to do any type of damage, and this is me just being desperate. I said, might as well just paralyze and try to, and maybe break out of confusion early so that nothing would happen to me. But no, not even the paralyze would come through for me, and I decided to hit myself. So here's a takedown, hearing me thinking that this is going to be the end. Nope, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. But this is going to be going on for a little while because I get the Thunder Wave. And hopefully, I think I make it through this Aerodactyl. Knock on wood. Hopefully, I do. So, we're almost coming to the conclusion of this episode. So, yeah. Going back on Goku Gamer. I am not like Goku Gamer who doesn't lose Nuzlocke back to back. And has to re-record the series. Re-record the series. Because that ain't me. <laughs> Everything you see on my channel is legit one try. If I, if I lose... I lose, but if it was like very early into the game, then I might as well just replay it again. But if I'm like by the third gym and I lose it there, then I lose it there. I'm not going to go ahead and re-record it unless you guys really enjoyed it. And then I would go ahead and re-record for you guys. Um, But there you go. That's the, that's the end right here of Aerodactyl. Right here on the screen. Yo, I'm telling you. My, my brain is like running at a million cells per second. I'm fighting multiple Pokemon all at once. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking of not fighting Pokemon all at once, but I'm just thinking of so many things that I'm jumping on from topic to topic. <laughs> I, I feel like 
this is why I invented the podcast so I could set myself my mind to something just solo and conversate with somebody else. <laughs> but even then, I think I'll be able to change the conversation quick. <laughs> but yeah, so now we finished our redactyl, the toughest battle of my career, and now we're Flaffy. We are one more Pokemon down for retirement. One Pokemon down. Let's go. Dragon Rage. And let's get that GG, baby. Let's get that GG, baby. Let's do it. All right. He's getting that thunder. And hear me a little bit of afraid because they got it. No, never mind. That wasn't a crit. I thought that was a crit. So at this point, I was kind of scared too because that thunder did so much damage. Watch. You're going to see it right now. I, I was glad it only had thunder because thunder only has, I think, a 70 or 90% accuracy. But nope. No, it has Thunderbolt, 100% accuracy with a 95 base power, you know, and he, he just said, screw you. But look at that, look at that. If I survived and I win this gym badge was because of that miss. Because if that Thunder hit and it crit, I lost this game. I mean, I would have lost this lock. But no, he used a Hyper Potion and he's back in this game, but I... But I backed him in the corner with secret power because I did not know secret power is going to do so much. And I end that battle with a crit, my boy, a crit. And we defeated Koga. But you guys are still wondering, how did I lose this lock? Was it not Koga that, that ended you? No, 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 no. But I did only have one Pokemon down. But here's another loss. I wanted to include it in this episode. So after the gym leader, after I ended the gym leader, look, look, you're going to see it right now. One, two, three. Wow, I, I didn't notice. I actually made that real quick, real quick. Jesus. Oh my God. But this gives me room to actually talk about this episode. So yeah. So after I beat it a Koga, you just saw those scenes. What just happened? I lost to a Rhyhorn but the reason why was because I was just trying to train my Gengar which was just a pain in the ass to train because it was like a level 16 I caught it back in Vermilion City and just trained it up was just not my style and at some point I just didn't care what I had to train it with and so I encountered that Rhy Rhydon as you saw I mean Rhyhorn or Rhydon I think it was a Rhydon as you saw on my screen and I switched into uh, King and Dragonite, and I should have just ran away, but I said, frick it, whatever. I was a couple of levels high, level, uh, high levels above it. I didn't think it was going to kill me off that quickly, but it did. So, after Koga, I had Dragonite, Gengar, my pawn, Swine Up, and Starmie. Starmie, I lost to a Silver Wing Butterfree. I mean, Silver Wind uh, Beauty Fly, and I lost my Keen to... A right on. Now, as for those people that are well aware about what a chest lock is, if I lose my keen, that is the end of the chest lock, and that is the end of the series. So, that being said, if you guys made it to the end of this video or this point in this video, consider dropping a like, comment down below what's your favorite part of this episode. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified of all my Pokemon related content. So, unfortunately, I lost this lock this is another L to all my L's that I lost to every Pokemon lock I've ever made on the channel. That includes solo playthroughs and actual Soul Link playthroughs. So there's that. So with that being said, this has been Awesome Joy 18, and I'll see you in the flip side. Peace.